Oh hello there everyone, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another video on Fear Redux on our Slav Month 2. And yeah, I don't really know what to say in the intro anymore, so subscribe if you enjoy the content, leave a like. Now before we get into today's video, I'm proud to announce that this video is sponsored by Opera GX. Now I have been personally using Opera for a longer time now and you have everything what you need here by your hand you have twitter for quick and easy access also discord by your hand you can also connect your instagram and whatsapp just to name a few now a very good feature is gx profiles gx profiles lets you create a custom browser suited perfectly for any activity online create custom profiles and focus on what's really important and when you create a new profile it appears here on the task bar and well you can create as many profiles as you want for many different purposes you want to stream no more accidentally showing your private stuff to your viewers your pc is not running smoothly anymore no stress with opera gx profiles you can create a browsing profile in its most basic form the potato configuration here and you want to go rogue create a gx profile that cleans all your browsing data upon closing. Opera GX also comes to your mobile device with a new feature Flow. Scan a QR code with your phone and then transfer files from your phone to your PC or from your computer to your phone. Now let me tell you about GX Corner. Stay up to date with free games and the best deals, the newest releases and breaking gaming news all in one easily accessible place. You can easily switch between platforms and also see the upcoming games in the release calendar. Now this feature called the Hot Tab Skiller will allow you to identify the most resource draining tabs and close them to make sure the browser doesn't overburn the PC or your laptop. Opera GX is also equipped with an important tool that allows you to quickly import all your settings from your previous browser that you used like browsing history, bookmarks and cookies. In addition to Opera having its own extension store, Google Chrome extensions are compatible with Opera browsers as well and the best thing about opera gx is that it's completely free so don't hesitate and click the link in the description or in the pinned comment and get yourself a proper browser and big thank you goes to opera gx for sponsoring this video and to everyone who checks out the browser by checking out our sponsors you really help the channel so thank you very much now let's get back to the game and well fear i has a special place in my heart and i really enjoy this mod very much much. So for today I have picked that we will be Ukrainian National Republic. And we here as Ukraine, well, we don't have all of our territory here. Naturally we will push to the west for some territories and then also to the east. We won't have it easy but we have to channel our Ukrainian spirits in and hope for the best. Also yeah, our army is not in the best shape and this is just our only template here. So now we will just improve improve our army and maybe a little bit of the navy as well. Also yeah, this field marshal seaman Goruk looks really similar to my gym trainer. So yeah, we will have some gains even here in Hoi Fo. Oh no, or should I say, oh yes, death of Vladimir Lenin. We also have Lenin last words. Little power struggle in the Soviet Union, we have to get our shit together before they decide to invade us. The French Republic suggests that we recognize the Soviet Union? How about no you Frenchy? Stick up to your froggy legs and don't bother me with your boring politics. Ah you see the entire Antan rejected the Soviet Union so there is nothing in these lands. But we can't underestimate the cum beast living right next to us. This is pretty Pogos Homer of Ukrainian cinema. We are the best filmographers on earth here. Slava Ukrainskim filmom. 
Also yes, we are slowly modernizing our army and it grants us a pretty good defensible bonuses here. And the best thing here is that we can even amplify these defensive bonuses by inviting French officers that gives us another 20% we will be for to Ukraine. Also one thing that I notice is that we have a core here owned by Belarus so we can request the core territory. Oh, I didn't really expect that they would just give it back that's like 500,000 people back into our fold. Yeah, we will still not recognize the Soviet Union. Cry about it. Oh, and even some shenanigans are happening in the Denmark Kiel zone here. The communists have taken over with Beta Stalin in charge. This is where the fun begins for the Danish. I feel like the Deutsches Reich will interfere in this conflict. Any moment now, no. Instead of that, we get a Brazilian civil war. I have noticed that it's past October now and we can finally do our little election thingy. Also, yeah, things are happening in Jabal Shamar here. I will be rooting for that Jabal Shamar for life, bros. And the chaos in the world is just going up and up. You should have just gave them uh, the Californian Peninsula back and this would be just prevented. But well, we here have our own stuff, our most important elections here. Socialist makes a speech in Kharkov. Now we will actually go with the national populism here. We will see how well we will mess up the world with that. Uh, government sponsored the radio broadcast here. Yeah, we will have a jingoist speech here. We need just everyone to defend our nation here. Minorities within Ukraine expresses fear. Oh, no, we must make them fear even more. Uh oh, did I do an oopsie here? We will hold this uh, country by our strong Ukrainian arms, but uh, yeah, police defects, that's not really good. Oh, and the Rada members assassinated. This is getting out of hand pretty quickly, but I will just roll with that. You say army declares national martial law? You mean the based law. The only law that should have been always implemented. And yeah, the militia just won over the country. And now we have Mr. Ivan Cherenyakovsky in charge. I was more aiming for the nationalist side, but uh, maybe I just overdid those events with the support for the populist nationalist. But anyway, we will just roll with this. Oh no, the Soviet aggression is slowly boiling over to the Transcaspian government here. Soon they will also enter the Caucasus and then Ukraine. We have to be ready, Brudas. Yeah, what did I say? What did I fucking say? Say, I was always right. But look at the Motain Republic go! They are slowly pushing the Soviets away. But for how long? That's the question. Oh, no, and there goes my spiritual country, the Mountain Republic. Rest in peace, you will be missed. We will keep the Mountain Republic in our hearts. Gone but not forgotten. As you see we are doing pretty good, we are removing our negative modifiers here, the language issue will be gone and also we need to yeah, secure our people so we don't starve to death. Thank god that we are not communist. Now we do be very strong and steady and now we will slowly look outwards and yeah we will wish to join the shithead pact with the Germans. And nothing is happening, I feel like the German Führer didn't got my message so uh, good question is what now, I feel like we should at least try to attack Poland, just a smidget of trolling here. Oh no, Hungary is going the full wacko mode, they attacked Austria here, we need to hurry up before they attack Slovakia so let us hope that my army can actually do shit our brave Ukrainian boys will cut off the Polish here in a little great encirclement oh yeah boys this is what it's all about you know it would be really cool if the Germans invaded because I might have just over calculated here but I just hope that our oh no we lost one division okay so now we will let the defense bonuses keep in and then we will push against the Polish. Oh, I didn't even notice but the Germans interfere in that little war but they should now interfere in this little conflict. Right guys? What is even happening here? Greece is now at war with Italy and they are Valkists. Oh, what a turn of events here. So we will see a thick Bulgaria boys. Boy oh boy, what is even happening in Europe right now? France against 
Italy, Austria is beating Hungary. This is just too much fun here. Oh no, Turkey fell into a civil war and it's just this one guy having a schizophrenic episode that engulfs in flames his whole country. God save the great nation of Turkey. So finally we are pushing the Polish away and even made a little encirclement down in the south. Ah yes, the whole Polish army that was stationed here was just slaughtered in a big circle. So yeah, I would say this is a pretty productive day for the Ukrainian armed forces. Oh, and even little Warsaw is open for the grabs. But I mean I won't go any further because I want the Germans to do some work as well. Oh for fuck's sake, the British are really going to declare themselves a fourth Rome here. Like the classical Rome, HRE, Russians and now even the British are joining the team. I mean this is the most retarded fourth Rome you will ever see. I really love the fact that our gun company here is called the generic artillery company. Uh, I love me some the generic company. Companies. Oh, I just noticed that Hungary was saved by German Anschluss here, that's pretty funny. They almost created new Austria-Hungary here. Oh yeah, and Turkey annexed the country that never existed. And oh yeah, finally the Germans came in and will finish the job. I feel like this is a pretty good split. And now I also have the good old attaché in, so we will get the German XP so we can prepare the war against the Soviets here. You know, I will do this little focus but I'm just not going into a war with the whole German Reich because yeah this just looks like a proper world war plus the Soviets are helping the Germans because stuff yeah Rome Moscow axis that's new to me I just want to see if we can get territories from Romania because they are not even in any kind of faction so if we went to a war I'm pretty confident that we can win this oh they just gave it to us thank you Romania tonight I'm stealing your land not you my wallet. Now I hope this will go better down for you than the Austrian conflict but I doubt that they will win against the strong Michael of Romania. They will steal all your manpower guns and worst of all your wallets. Say bye bye to your foreigns. Oh yeah I smell here a big opportunity so we will just quickly justify on them and get ready our maybe a little army but we will do numbers on them because nobody is at our border. They will be very busy fighting in Italy here. There isn't a better time to invade than now because like as you can see the whole Europe is now against the Soviets. So yeah we will see how well we can go against the Eastern Bear. Our great Ukrainian army has green bubbles everywhere. And yes I'm a simple man I take support from every side. Joining the German faction even back down but we don't really need them as you can see here. Oh this is just over for the Russians here. I will cause the Holodomor in their lands. But I feel like we are overstretching ourselves a little bit. But like the defensible bonuses are like really good. We can defend ourselves pretty nicely even from the heavy Soviet attacks. It kinda slowed down because I don't really want to overstretch my army even more. We are barely able to cover all this front and yeah even more people are joining the war against the even Italians here in Africa. Who Oh yeah baby, that's what I've been talking about, that's all it's about. Yeah we are in the German shit ahead pact so we can push the Soviets away. Yeah, the German help will be amazing here. They will just fill out the gaps that we have in our front lines but ultimately the Ukrainians will capture the Moscow. The proper word is that the Soviets are done here. With our warring capabilities we can achieve pretty much anything just like sneaking up to Moscow. And I bet, uh, I thought nobody would defend but we are almost there. Not almost but we are there. Ukraine just keeps on winning and the Eastern Front just keeps on giving us very beautiful pockets. Uh, this is just some classical family fun marching to Leningrad unopposed by anyone. We are almost there. Would be cool if Finland also joined this war but there bet I'm already in Leningrad. 
and they got it. They are not even in a war with the Soviet Union. I don't know what to think about that. Also, what a nice pocket created here, don't mind me just slaughtering everyone inside. Slava to our massacres. This is a country for no man. Yes, boom, done, destroyed, obliterated. And yes, soon the Soviet Union will capitulate and fall into our Ukrainian hands. Did somebody say big Ukraine moment? And also yes, the Russians are my puppets. And yes, we are not stopping here, there is a little country that's just sitting here like it's nothing. The little Belarus. Now yes, I'm just going to beat up Belarus before I go to United Kingdom finish the German war here. I mean, I am using everything in my power to just end them as quickly as possible, they stand no chance. Now after few preparations, it is time to end this journey of a empire and yes we have nicely secured the landing beach it's time to send all our boys in only a ukrainian man can end this conflict that the germans started and well when you are already on the island it's already over for them so effective that we have slaughtered the last english troop here time to cause a holodomor in england now the united kingdom really said then went to Canada. Yeah, we just have to make a landing here in Quebec or on Halifax. Fucking kill me. To properly kill all the Frenchies in Sahara here, we have to go through Egypt. And yeah, this is hell on earth. For our enemies, of course. We already have Suez under our control. The Egyptians didn't really have the time to blow it up, so that's pretty good. Just imagine, Ukrainian Egypt. And it also means that we have to justify again on the Emirates of Libya to get to France properly. Uh, it feels good to beat up the unarmed nation of Libya here. Bruh, they really sent just a one tank to stop my whole army. We are truly one step closer to the total victory in this war. Uh, even the Japanese came down here to unzip their pens in Alger. Always so nice and so beautiful from countries when they just hand you the capital city undefended. And now at the end I can only say slow to our new glorious Ukrainian Empire. And yeah, if you made it this far into the video, there is nothing else for me to say that if you somehow enjoyed this shit show, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to The Laminator, Razornon and Thomas Shipley for being the highest channel members.